They've already raised their own kids, but are increasingly being asked to do it all over again with their grandchildren. Today, grandparents were recognised for their role with one that comes with not much financial support and often very little credit. Jean Kennedy reports. Denise Duroux stepped into care for her four grandchildren aged between 18 months and six years when her daughter was struggling. I convinced her to let me do it, let me take care of them, and that was 9.3 years ago. They crammed into her two-bedroom Ballina flat, turning the kids' room into what she called the backpackers. I was exhausted. They were exhausting. They were so active. And because of the small space we got, you've got to be physical with them. But for all her efforts, she was today named Grandparent Carer of the Year by the State Government at the Leichhardt Festival in Sydney. And it was her children, as she calls them, who were proudest. Thank you, kids. I love you. I'm really happy because someone actually finally recognised what Nan does. Gary Payne also became carer to his three grandchildren when their mother died three years ago. He kept volunteering at his grandchildren's school and was today named Community Grandparent of the Year. Grand Friend of the Year went to 70-year-old nurse Raylene Bernhardt for her 48 years working with sick children in hospital. Seniors advocates say grandparents are the community's unsung heroes. There'll be a knock on the, on the door and, uh, and children will be left with their grand, uh, grandparents because the, the, the parents have got a problem of some sort. And they, they exit it without question. Official figures show in New South Wales alone, 10% of people aged over 65 are providing unpaid child.